raised on a dirt road, ghost town, stray dogs, whole nine, the gold mine closed down. I knew the woods like the back of my hand, and I would shoot the breeze with the roots of trees. I'd go down by the river and watch the way the devil dances, but never took his hand, even though I did have several chances. Everybody slept when the morning dew turned to frost. Darkness moved in and somebody burned a cross. A girl named Stella Kinwin was prettier than you'd imagine. The town should have given her the crown for the beauty pageant. But instead, some local pinhead started spreading rumors about the Kinwins being inbreds. And what's worse, people believed it, cause the family was dirt poor and down on their luck. So that made it hurt more. Picking up garbage and mowing the grass. At this point, Stella stopped going to class. You know how they ridicule a kid in school and this shit's enough to make anybody feel like a misfit. She made herself invisible and hid inside a house of mirrors. Whenever the fear stops, so do the teardrops. But fear is forever and lies become legend. Eventually, growing slowly, exponentially. She should have been a cover girl, treated like a princess. But she's an enigma, haunted by the stigma of incest. She tried to hide the scars Her name reminds me of the stars I saw diamonds divide in the corners of her eyes She tried to hide the scars Her name reminds me of the stars I saw diamonds divide in the corners of her eyes One horse town known for the most Softness, little old schoolhouse, burned down post office, blueberries and bulrushes, a tree with a tire swing, volunteer firemen's fair, the whole entire thing. Stella was heartbroken, decided to start smoking. Bad taste in her mouth, she grew into a sad face. Her few friends were worried, her parents were always proud of her, but she never escaped from under the cloud cover. A woman reduced, she was eaten by a monster. And after all these years have passed, it still haunts her. The whispers her name when she's trying instead to just listen to music when she's lying in bed. Now the story of Stella is one that every child knows, but the witch in the woods is more like a wild rose.